Hey guys, so in today's video, it's going to be me attempting to dye my own hair pink. Don't get me wrong, it's semi-permanent so it can wash out, so if it goes wrong, it's not the end of the world, you'll just see me shampooing it like a hundred times in the next few days. But, I did it a couple of weeks ago and you guys absolutely loved it, but I feel like for me, because I had it cut short, look at my ponytail now, and I had it dyed pink, it was like a big shock all in one. And I, I liked it for a few days, and then I think, oh my god, my short hair is harder to style than my long hair. How do you guys with short hair style it? Like, I curl it in that, I get it, I can do it. But I'm used to having a long ponytail, extensions, I've still got extensions in now, let's not lie. But I'd curl it, put it up, and then I could have it up for like three days, I'd take it down, and it's still curly and it's still styled. I feel like with short hair... Unless I keep it like this, like in a tiny pony, it goes all funny and frizzy and I have to wash it to then do it again, which is high maintenance for me. I know I look high maintenance, but really, with my hair, I'm not. <laughs> I curl it, I wash it like once or twice a week. Dry shampoo is my best friend. Um, but I found with pink hair, it went like, I don't know, just wasn't right. So we're gonna try it today, see how it comes out. I'm going to show you how I do it, what products I use, and everything like that, and we can just pray to God that it goes right and doesn't go wrong. I don't want it fluorescent pink, I want it pastel pink. And in a few days I'm getting my long hair back. Did I mention that? I can't remember. But this is a big deal because I've got new music coming soon, spoiler alert, and this is a big decision because whatever I have is going to be in the single artwork, the music video, everything. So... I need to choose wisely. And you guys can help me by commenting below what you prefer, because I will take that on board massively. Um, you guys, you influence me a lot in my decisions, so pick the right one. <laughs> but yeah, let's do it. Let's just go for it. So the instructions on the bottle say to shampoo your hair and apply to towel dried hair, which is what we did in the hairdressers, so I'm definitely going to do that. I see people putting it on dry hair and it goes like neon pink, so you don't want that. If you want pastel, Make sure your hair's wet. So I'm gonna shampoo it now, just to get rid of any dry shampoo that might be in here, or any oil, even though it looks pretty clean. Um, my roots are massive, and they are getting dyed on Friday. So it'll be all fresh. I'm gonna get in the shower now. Won't film that, because we will get demonetized, but I will be back shortly, when it's all wet and ready to go on. But yeah, this is the color now. See you in a minute. So I've washed my hair, I've put on a t-shirt that I don't really care about getting ruined. I have towel dried it, I mean it's still quite wet. I'm going to brush it through. I only shampooed it so I didn't condition it so it's going to be a little bit rough. Also when I towel dried it I didn't rub it together because I think that gives you split ends doesn't it? Not sure, not a hairdresser. But I like to squeeze it out. Actually it's not too bad considering. I haven't put conditioner in this. So I've got two rows of extensions in here. You normally have three, and obviously a lot of it's been cut off. So you might see the weave as I'm colouring it. My hair before I cut it all off naturally was like here. And then we just chopped it because like four inches of it was so straggly from not being cut for two years or so. It definitely, definitely needed it. Okay, so I'm gonna just part it in the middle. Brush through the back. Genuinely nervous. I'm a little bit scared, a little bit apprehensive, don't know what's going to happen. So, oh I think I need to get a mirror in so I can see you behind as well. I might do that in a second. I'm going to mix up this, I'm going to film, I'm going to try and film what I do. Um, and then film it going on. My camera's on 20%, you know, I'm not the most organised person in the world. So I feel like it's going to die on me when I'm filming the colour going on. Um, but I'll charge it up if it does die and I'll film it once all the colour's on. 
um, and keep you updated. So I quickly popped a super drug earlier. I've got a load of stuff that is actually irrelevant to the video, but I've got to treat myself, you know. <laughs> not to toothpaste, to perfume. That's not a um, luxury for me. I do use that. I bought four of these bottles. Probably only going to take one or two today, but I've still got a weave in, so I think it's going to take two. But this is the shampoo, and they're sold out of the conditioner, which is so annoying. But I think if you want to maintain the colour, the shampoo and conditioner is really good for that. Some people just wash their hair with this, and it comes out pink. So I'm going to go riskier and do it with the semi-permanent dye. And it fades out in two to ten washes. How exciting. So after watching other people's videos on them using this product, their hands, if they don't wear gloves, go bright pink. And when you buy that from Superdrug, it doesn't come with anything like gloves or like a whole package, you know, that they normally come in. So this has got gloves, which hopefully are tighter than other ones I've seen. Comes with a mixing bowl. Comes with the brush which I'm not sure if I'll be using that or if I'll just be whacking it on. And a couple of clips to keep my hair separated. And then you've got this little bag that comes with it. This is from Amazon. Cute. So then I can just wash it all and put it back in here for next time. So the tripod is in between my legs. <laughs> As we speak, wearing gloves, apply generously to shampoo, towel dried hair, massage or comb through mid lengths and ends before leaving to develop. What about the roots? Um, rinse out and style as desired. For best results, apply on very light blonde bleached hair. Colour may vary depending on existing tone. Okay. So, I'm going to whack a whole bottle of this. Bleach London Rose. Rosé, whatever you call it. Wow, look at that colour. And from watching other videos, I had to watch so I knew what I was doing. This goes on very light to your hair, and within like 10 minutes of it being on, it goes neon pink. So, you can't leave it on for too long, otherwise I think I might cry. Oh, it's hard to get out. Come on, mate. Squeeze out. I don't think I will need two bottles, you know. I don't know, what do you think? Okay. <laughs> It's like ketchup, I'm trying to get ketchup out. That'll do. Okay, then what we did at the hairdressers was we mixed in a little bit of conditioner and I feel like I definitely need to do this so that it doesn't go really pink. My hairdresser said only add a tiny bit. I mean, the colour we used before was a different brand and it went bright pink in the bulb, so I'm just gonna add a tiny ooh, bit of conditioner. Just so that it doesn't go like bright pink, do you know what I mean? I'm nervous. Mix it up. So it looks pastel, but trust me, when this goes in my hair, I'm gonna have a shock after like 10 minutes. Oh, it smells well nice. Or is that the conditioner? I think that's the conditioner. Wow. Tresemme, go on. Okay, so I'm gonna separate my hair out. Into half, I think.
Ooh, I like this colour. Got them on 13%. Mate, good thing about having short hair is this doesn't take me very long at all. Hopefully, don't miss loads of bits, but I've got enough to go over it if I have. Do you know what I mean? Right, I might section this bit now. And just keep the top for in a bit. I mean, like, what do you do? How do you know whether you do the top first or what? how it's starting to turn. I mean it hasn't gone fluorescent, maybe that's because I put conditioner in it. if you've got hair near short. Two bottles, two bottles. It's good though, you've got loads extra to keep it up. Apparently if you just put a bit in your conditioner, I think. I don't know. Or just use it as a conditioner, I don't know. To be fair, I've done quite well to not get it on my face. I mean, not sure how the back's gonna turn out because it's not the best. Excuse me, are you okay? Oh, my neck's turning pink. And my arm, probably.
So I feel like that's pretty much covered all of it. So I'm now gonna brush it through my neck. Hopefully that will wash right out. Um, I'm gonna brush it through so it gets like every strand of hair, hopefully. I mean, the extensions are quite tricky to dye at the top, but who knows? Who knows? I've got 3% left. Let's do this. I feel like it's gonna come out really nice. I've got to leave it on for 15 minutes. So I will update you once I've left it on for 15 minutes with the colour and then we'll rinse it off and see what we're left with. Is he? Can't deal. He's like, Mum, can you pay some attention to me rather than turning your hair a wacky colour? <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. So here it is wet. It's quite dark. I got out of the shower after I just rinsed it off, like it says. And I looked in the mirror and I was like, Whoa! It was like pinker than this. Bright pink. Even with putting conditioner in it. So I shampooed and conditioned it and I feel like it stripped it out a little bit and I prefer it. But where I did this first, I feel like my roots are still pretty blonde. So when I wash this, if this is too blonde compared to the ends, which I feel like it is, it's going to look weird. Like if anything, this should be darker, right? I'm just going to whack it on here again and then wash it off in 15 minutes, just the, the root part. And then see what it looks like. But I'll keep you updated. So I put it in the fronts of my hair because it was so blonde. So I'm going to wash it out now, second time lucky, and hopefully the whole thing washes out a little bit lighter. Because right now I'm freaking out that it's a bit too pink. But I haven't dried it off yet, so who knows. Let's wash it out again. I'm not going to use any shampoo or conditioner this time. I reckon a load more is going to wash out. The water is going to be pink again. And then we should go from there. So this is the finished product. I'm trying to do this without shaking the camera. Um, what do you think? I mean, it's a little bit patchy in places where I washed it out the second time, but I like it. I think it's cool. And I think on Friday, make sure you follow me on Instagram, Sam Harvey UK. When I get my really long hair back and it's pink and I can put it in like high ponies and do different things with it, I will love it. I mean, this length hair, with pink colour is so much better than normal blonde, I think. It suits me more. Um, but let me know what you think. Comment below, make sure you subscribe, and let me know if you want to see more videos of like me just doing random stuff, because I do it all the time, I just don't film it. So let me know. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Mm -hmm.